Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Okay. Thank you. Just a little bit. The flu. But it's normal, I think, these days because of the weather change. Hello, everybody. Say good evening. Say good evening on the microphone or on the chat as you wish. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I see some people saying good evening on the chat. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. You ready for tomorrow? For the Black Friday? Hi. Okay. Well, we're going to get started. This is our session number nine. On November the 23rd. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, this is our session number nine. Almost, we almost finished the second week in November. Well, second week of the module. But November, this is the third week, I guess. By the way, today is Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Okay, the reminders of classes as usual. The attendance, the time that you should be participating. Okay, the regulations for the application soon. And the evaluations. Remember that at the end of this week, we finished the unit two. So you must finish also the midterm exam. The midterm is like this the exam that you take in the middle of the course, right? So by tomorrow, we should finish the unit one and two and the midterm exam. All right, the requirements to be on the platform and your manual, all of this, it's really important, okay? So, I only listen to a couple of you saying good evening and Elvin, Nelson, and Paula. Natalia say good evening on the chat. All right? Continue. <laughs> say something on the chat. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Okay. And if you're ready also for the class, if you have your manual, if you have practice, if you have completed the exercises as well on the platform, okay. So we're gonna, yes, nice. Good evening, good evening, Ricardo. Good evening, Brian. Good evening, Jocelyn. Nice. Deborah. That's great. Well, it's about time. Okay, Doris. Good evening. It's about time we get the attendance as well. Okay, let me let me see who says present. Wait a second. You need to get to your list. Okay, here we go. Wait one second. Just need to make sure. Oh boy. Uh -huh. 
Nice. Sorry. You couldn't help it. <laughs> All right. Go to the attendance. And everybody ready for the attendance? Yes. Okay, the first person, Ana Cristina Castro. Ana Cristina. All right. Brian Ulises. David Miguel. I don't see him. No. I don't think so. David Miguel. Deborah Beatriz. Deborah, Deborah. Present teacher. Hi. Okay, I think we need more volume. Uh, Doris Elizabeth. Okay, Elvin Gabriel. Present. Elvin. Present, Miss. Hi. Gracias. It's present. Great. Hector Manuel. Imelda Xiomara. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay. Ivan Arnoldo. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Ivan Arnoldo. Not here. Joana de la Paz. Not here. Jocelyn Karina. Present. Good evening. Karen Melissa. Kevin Edgardo. Okay, not here. Laura Berenice. Laura. María Irma. Present, teacher. Hi. Miguel Ángel. Nelson. Present, teacher. No. Paula Natalia. Present teacher. Hello. Ricardo Mauricio. Present teacher. Hello. Wendy Geraldina. Present teacher. Hello. Wilmer Alexander. Present teacher. Good evening. All Good evening. right. Teacher are... present. Yes. David. Yes. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, well, I think most of people are pressing now. So, I was mentioning when we just started this class that, yeah, today is the 
Okay, the 23rd of November, and this is the class number nine. So, of course, today is celebrated Thanksgiving in the United States. Because it's the first, wait a second. Happy Thanksgiving, teacher. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you as well. <laughs> I got these issues with the with the little neighbor's dogs by this time, so I apologize. I hope my neighbors get conscious someday and they just realize that there are people who are working at this time. <laughs> Well, yesterday we were talking about yes, no questions with did in past. Voy a escribir una pregunta usando el did en el, en el chat para preguntar si hicieron eso este día. For example, did you drink coffee in the afternoon? Did you drink coffee in the afternoon? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. But, <laughs> yes, I did. This one. <laughs> but, van a escribir preguntas como esta. Que les gustaría preguntar, para la redundancia, a sus compañeros si hicieron eso este día. Yes? Did you work today? Did you take a bus? Did you have chicken for lunch? Yes? Cualquier question, refiriéndose a que si hicieron eso este día, usando el did. No se preocupen por poner el verbo en pasado porque lo van a poner normal, porque ya pusieron el auxiliar. En la question, el verbo no cambia. El verbo cambia nada más a la forma pasada cuando estamos afirmando. ¿Ok? Bye. Todos van a escribir alguna, o si quieren escribir más de una, yes, no question, in past, usando el did, pues hagan. Did you? ¿Cómo que se le estuvieron haciendo algo? Did you work today? Did you have a celebration today? Did you eat turkey today? Obviamente todo refiriéndose a que si hicieron eso este día. Yes. yes. Did you watch a movie? Did you take a nap? Ah, yo pensé que había un montón de questions. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right on the chat. Did you? Did you wake up early? That's great. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Uh -huh. Good question with Dean. Did you? Did you go shopping? Did you finish work early? Did you see your best friend? Uh -huh. A lot of questions with did you. Escriba en el chat. Did you? Y así y ponemos una acción. Did you get up early? Uh -huh. Did you listen to music? Nice. Did you send emails? Did you use a computer? Uh -huh. Okay. Just Debra and Paula, Natalia, participating on the chat. Everybody has to have one question. Todos tenemos que tener al menos una pregunta en el chat. Uh -huh. Did you go to a meeting? Or did you have a meeting? Did you work today? That's great. Uh -huh. What else? Mm -hmm. 
Did you go to a restaurant? Did you buy food? Did you drink soda? Okay, more questions, more questions. All right, we have more questions now. That's great. Mm -hmm. Did you work today? Did you play today? Did you have a lunch? Did you have lunch today? Did you exercise in the morning? Did you exercise today? Did you celebrate Thanksgiving at your company? Uh -huh. Did you go to work today? Did you have lunch? Oh my God. Bye. Ya tienen un buen repertorio de questions. Ahora, ¿qué van a hacer? Se las van a hacer a sus compañeros, cualquiera de estas. Y van a responder, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Por ejemplo, si le dicen, did you get up early today? La primera question que tienen en el chat, did you get up early today? Y ustedes dicen, yes, I did. I got up early today. I got up at six. I got up at four. I got up at five. Podría que dé una explicación, ¿ya? Yeah? O oh, si le dicen, did you listen to music? No, I didn't. I didn't have time. Or I don't do a tiempo. Or I didn't... I didn't have the radio. Or I didn't have the, the computer. Or I was not in the office. Or yes, I did. I listened to music on, uh, in the car. Yes? Puede explicar un poquito más. No solamente yes, I did, no, I didn't. Pero si va a explicar y la oración tiene que estar en afirmativa, pues el verbo tiene que estar en pasado. All right. Did you watch TV today? Nice. De todas estas questions van a practicar. As much as possible. Traten de no quedarse en silencio, because practice is really important, okay? Really, really important. Hello. No sé si les parece que pregunte yo. Sí, está bien. Hola, Wendy. Did you go to work today? Yes, I do. Yes, 
How you do, compañeras? Yes, I did. Tengo una pregunta, es yes, I did o yes, I do? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Thanks. Vaya, hice mi pregunta, no sé si ya la contestaron todos. No, yo no tengo la mía. ¿Y qué lo... Vamos a ver una con el día. Eh. Sí, de las que compartimos ahí en el chat. Creo que nos las podemos preguntar entre todos ¿Qué? nosotros. Bueno, yo, yo no la mandé, pero yo les puedo hacer ahorita. Este... Vaya, la mía sería... Did you... David, está ahí. No. Email today. No, I didn't. Uh, email. Yes, I did that day. You email today. Okay. Yes, I did. Um, quiero ver. Did you play? Eh, bueno, si le pongo soccer, no sé si se puede. Tiene sí, no problema. Sí. No, I didn't. I don't play soccer. I don't play soccer. I didn't. Did you exercise in the, in the morning? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Exercise in the morning. No, I didn't. <laughs> I feel so tired. Did you walk or drive today? ¿Cómo, perdón? Ah, lo voy a dejar así. De, did you drive?
टीचर हेलो हेलो टीचर estaba viendo con mis compañeros están de oyente no sé si podrán ellos participar o, o me traslado a otro grupo okay thank you ok Okay, can you practice? Let's see, check the questions on the chat, please. And what about Elvin? Can you read the questions on the chat? Yes? Elvin, can you read the questions? Que le escribe en el chat, me dice a mí. No, que la lea. Alguna ah. pregunta que está en el chat. Did you for have lunch? Did you? Did you uh -huh. for have lunch? Sería okay, así. did you have lunch? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué uh -huh. otra? Did you watch TV today? Mm -hmm. Any did, other? Did you go to work today? Did you go to work? But esas three questions se las va a hacer ahorita a Natalia. Natalia oh. is going to answer. Ready, Natalia? Ready. Okay. Go, Natalia. Mm -hmm. Did you go to work today? Hello, Natalia. Yes, I do. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Repeat the question, Elvin. Did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Okay, continue. Did you for had a lunch? Did you have lunch? Yes, I did. Right. Did you watch TV today? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. Natalia, you're going to ask three different questions to Miguel Angel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Miguel Angel, do you exercise today? Mm, no, I didn't. Um... Okay. Did you listen to music? Yes, I did. I listened. I listened, listened to music at work. At work all day. Okay. Oh. And yes, num okay. <laughs> number three, do you drink coffee in the afternoon? Uh, no, I didn't. I don't drink coffee only in the morning. With only breakfast. in the morning. Only the morning for breakfast. Okay, great. Yes. Yeah, like you ask the questions to Nelson. Three questions, three different questions. Yeah, so, hello, Nelson. <laughs> no answer from Nelson. Ah, oh, yes. No response. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, okay. I did. Okay, okay. Mm. Did you celebrate and give it stay and give it at your company? Yes, I did. Mm. Let me see, let me see. Did you eat turkey? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. You no. ate chicken. And chicken in, in Christmas mm -hmm. sauce. No, nice. Did you play today? <laughs> no. I didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't play Secret Santa. No. <laughs> we celebrated mm. Chris. I mean, we celebrated Thanksgiving Day as well. But yeah, we had chicken in Christmas. It was kind of cranberry sauce, I guess, like gravy and special type of salad with, let's say, lettuce. And, but it had some fruit as well. And some cherry tomatoes, uh, green grapes, and they say arroz a la jardinera, so some kind of uh, rice with vegetables. And it was really good. It was really good. All right. So, Nelson, you ask the questions to Ricardo. Hey, teacher, uh, no, me salen las puntas en el really? chat. Really? No les Okay, estoy con el teléfono, uh, acabo de ver. Sorry, don't worry. That's it? Can you see the questions? Las mismas del grupo, ¿verdad? Yeah, you can, you can choose other questions that maybe they didn't ask before. Okay, the number one is, did you go to work today? Pardon? Number two let's, is... Let's, let's... Ricardo answer. Ah, okay. No, I didn't. I am on vacation. You are on vacation. <laughs> yes. You're so lucky. Yes. Teacher, pero a mí no me ponen tampoco las las preguntas antes de que de pasar a la sala las miraba, pero después que regresamos ya no. no sé qué pasó. <laughs> okay. Se perdió el chat. Sí. Really? Yo creo que sí se pierde cada vez que hacemos alguna actividad. Uh -huh. okay. Bye, tiene que tomar el screenshot. Ah. <risa> 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 es todo es precavido. <risa> really, porque yo se lo puedo ver. Y entraron, entonces pensé que yo era el mismo no puedo que ver. ustedes. Ajá. Ah, pues no sé. No sé qué pasó. Ah, pues no sé. <risa> Usted... <risa> Ah, bueno, pues, ah, pues hágale otras questions así de su creatividad. Improvise. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, the other is, did you, did you, yo no recuerdo cómo dijo Wendy, pero creo que era, did you do exercise today? Se puede decir así. Yes, did you do exercise? Yes, I did, I did exercise in afternoon. In the afternoon. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And the other is, did you eat breakfast today? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. yes, you did. Yes. But late. Yes. Uh -huh, like a brunch. Uh, because you got up late. <laughs> que vida, Ricardo. <laughs> All right. Ricardo, you can improvise and answer your questions to Wendy. Yeah. Igual ya les compartí ahí en el screenshot. Ok, permítame. Voy a leer algunas porque. You ah, bueno. Oh, vaya. Did you listen to music today? Yes. Yes, I did. Ok. Did you have a lunch? Yes, I did. Um, did you have very job, very work? Too no, much job. Work. Too uh, much work. Uh, too much work, and all. Much work. I don't understand. 
sí, tenía Ok. mucho trabajo este día. Did you have Ah, too yes, much work? yes, I did, yes, Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> Everybody had a lot of work, but Ricardo is on vacation. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. Very cool. Congrats. Okay, at the end of this session, participants will be able to engage in a small talk using varial, variary. Esa es una de las palabras más difíciles en inglés. Engage, no es difícil. Engage in a small talk using variety. Nada que ver cómo se escribe. La gente tiene que decir variety, pues variety. Variety of topics using socializing vocabulary. So this is the objective we pers pursue today. Okay, parte del vocabulario de cómo se pronuncian los verbos en pasados, los verbos regulares que solo se les pone ed. Tienen tres diferentes pronunciations depende del sonido final que tengan antes de ponerle la ed. Hay dos que ya están determinadas. Al terminar el T o D, se le agrega ED y se pronuncia ED. Estos son los más fáciles. Want, wanted, need, needed. Cualquier verbo que en su base form termine en el sonido T o D, si es un verbo en pasado con la ED, se pronuncia ID. Si el verbo regular termina en cualquiera de estos sonidos, P, K, ok. Los sonidos generalmente se hacen como En este caso, la S, la C suena como es, como dance. Vale, termina en cualquiera de estos sonidos, en el base form. Pero es un verbo regular que se le pone ed, al poner la ed va a sonar como una t. Entonces digo help, help en presente termina con p. Entonces si pongo el pasado con ed, lo voy a pronunciar como helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Y luego tenemos los demás sonidos, que serían todos estos al final del verbo en sí, en present, al ponerlos en pasado, si es un verbo regular, pues se va a pronunciar como t. Para el caso, cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used. Ustedes podrían decir, ¿y esta S qué se dice? No debería estar aquí. A veces la S suena como una Z. Entonces, por eso es que está acá. Entonces, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Sí, los verbos en la forma del presente, en la forma base, base form, terminan en estos sonidos pero son verbos regulares al ponerle la ed se va a pronunciar de esas tres diferentes formas dependiendo del último sonido con el que termine igual esto se lo regalen un segundito se lo puedo compartir so you can have it give me a second something happened Okay. Vale. Eso es como repaso de la clase de ayer. Okay. Vale, aquí tenemos un pequeño ejercicio también de yes, no questions. Did Sue visit her grandma this morning? Yes, she did. Entonces ustedes van a leer las questions y van a hacer con qué letra 
corresponde. Listo, un par de segundos, minutitos para que lo hagan y luego lo comparamos. Yo, vaya, ay Dios, pero la imagen que nos mandaron no es la del jefe. No sé si le tomaron captura a ustedes. Yo no.
No, ni yo tampoco. Pero aquí está la... Ahí está, ya la mandé la teacher. Ya lo mandé a ti. Vaya, la uno ya está, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. La dos sería, did you talk on the phone this afternoon? Está hablando de tú, ¿verdad? Sería con la letra F. Si no me equivoco. Hola. Con la letra F. Sí. Little F. Vamos a ver. F. F. A ver. Number two. Little F. F. Yes, I did. Sí. And a number three. Did Peter and Daisy paint the picture? Como está hablando de Peter y Daisy son ellos. Entonces, mm -hmm. con la letra D, D, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Ajá, con la letra D. The number four, did the boy help his mom yesterday? El chico. Ayudó a su mamá. Ajá, ayudó a su mamá. Ayer. Entonces sería, estamos hablando de, de, de él, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces sería con la letra B. 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 Uh -huh. No, he didn't. Ajá, no, he didn't. Y el number five, did the canguro. Como estamos hablando de un animal, jump six mirror. Canguro. De sí. Es, ajá, yes. He did it. Como estamos hablando de un animal. Uh -huh. Y number, six. number six, did you and your friend the party? Ahora estamos aquí, nos está hablando a mí y a mis amigos. ¿Mm? Entonces sería, yes, we did. Ajá, number, es little eight. Little eight. 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 Uh -huh. Y ahí estamos, creo. No sé, compañeros, y estamos. Vaya, bien. pero anotémoslos. Ok, number one, voy a poner número uno con. Ahí. Leror, quiero ver. Sí, ahí ya está respondida. Eh. Ah, sí, que la primera, ¿verdad? La E. Eh, number two sería con Leror F. La F. Sí. Number three, porque habla de ellos, ellos de it. Entonces, sería... estamos hablando de D, ¿verdad? No de D. Ok. Number, number four. four. Uh, estamos hablando del chico. Ah, de él. Entonces, de él. Él. una vez cada una. Ok. Practice. Inicia. Mm -hmm. Solo las voy a anotar porque todavía no las he anotado. Vaya, ¿Es en no eso. Ajá. Ajá, en eso podemos practicar nosotros. Iván, okay. no sé si gusta eh, iniciar usted. Okay, number one is uh, the should visit her grandma this morning. Uh, little e, yes, she did. Okay. Number two, did you talk on this phone this afternoon? Number F, yes, I did. Did Peter and Daisy paint the picture? Number D, no, they didn't. Number four, did the boy help this mom yesterday? Is number B? No, he didn't. Number mm -hmm. five, did you conquer job six minutes? Mm -hmm.
todas. Vaya. Did she visit her grandma this morning? Yes, she did. Did you talk on the phone this afternoon? Yes, I did. Did Peter and Daisy paint the picture? No, they didn't. Did the boy help his mom yesterday? No, he didn't. Dingo. Did the kangaroo jump six meters? Yes, it did. Did you and your friends dance in the party yesterday? Yes, we did. ¿Tenía alguna duda, Elvin? Eh, sí, sí, pero... Eh... <risa> no, pues, solo, es que, le ayudamos, decía, no se preocupe. No, 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 es que en lo que dice la 4. Did Ajá. the six... Did you eh, and your friends dance at the party yesterday? yesterday? And letter A, yes, we did. Okay, nice. Did she visit her grandma this morning? Yes, she did. Did, did you talk on the phone this afternoon? Yes, yes, I did. Did Peter and Daisy find the picture? No, sh no, they didn't. Did the boy help his mom yesterday? No, he did. No, he didn't. Did the kangaroo jump six meters? Uh, yes, he did. Did you and your friend dance at the party yesterday? Yes, we did. Ivan? Me. Ivan, yes, Ivan. Hello, teacher. I have a question. The pronunciation with kangaroo or kangaroo? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yes. Okay. Thank. Alright. Number one, we should visit her grandma this morning. His number is letter E, yes, she did. Number two, did you talk on the phone this afternoon? Letter A, yes, I did. Number three, did Peter and Daisy paint the picture? Letter D, no, they didn't. Number four, did the boy help this number yesterday? With little B, no, he didn't. And number five, did the kangaroo jump six meter? Is letter C, yes, he did. And number six, did you and your friends dance at the party yesterday? Is letter A, yes, we did.
Okay. Complete, right? Number two, did you talk on the phone this afternoon? Uh, F? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, did Peter and Daisy paint the picture? Letter D? Letter D. No, they, no, they, they did. did. All right. Did the boy help his mom yesterday? He let it be. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Did the kangaroo jump six meters? Let it see. Yes, I did. Yes, it did. It did. Yes. Did you and your friends dance at the party? <coughs> yes. <coughs> yes, we did. Okay, letter A. All right. So that's correct. Okay, give me one second. Just need to close this. And... And now the... <laughs> this is so weird. <clears throat> one second. Just need to erase the drawings okay how do you start a conversation when you meet new people va esas pequeñas conversations que uno entabla con alguien por primera vez eso se llama en inglés small talk o sea, son conversaciones de de carácter pues no tan personal verdad sino me había dicho como de, del clima, la hora, lo que se esté llevando a cabo en ese momento, una reunión, un entrenamiento, un workshop. Veamos. How do you start a conversation when you meet new people? Well, it's a small talk. Small talk is a casual, momentaneous conversation. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Esas son las tres cuestiones que tienen que responder. Okay. ¿Cómo empieza una conversación con alguien que lo acaban de conocer, con una persona que se conocieron en una, en una capacitación, en una conferencia? Okay. What is a small talk? It's an informal, casual conversation that you have about superficial topics with the person that you just met, right? And do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? ¿Se considera ustedes buenos para conversar? con que se puede conversar? So these are just to introduce the new lesson. Déjenme, voy a compartirles desde el normal what it looks like. So, from the manual, se ve de esta manera. Right. It's just the same, the same topics. Engage in a small talk using a variety of topics. What's a small talk? Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist and why? Yes. Luego tienen un poco de vocabulary. Choose. Three good topics for a small talk. Tienen que elegir tres temas con los que uno puede, digamos, hacer una conversación así, casual. Y tres que se consideran inapropiados. Ok, tres temas que se consideren apropiados, tres que se consideren inapropiados para a small talk. Obviamente temas que traigan controversia, que puedan traer discusión o que puedan ser muy personales, no se tocan en small talk, porque es con alguien que acaba de conocer. 
es una persona que no tiene confianza aún. ¿Ok? So, voy a dejar para que elijan tres temas que sí serían buenos para small talk y tres temas que uh -uh, shouldn't be a good idea for small talk. All right. Give me a second.
Okay. Location example. Is your company near the trade center? Is this a good topic for a small talk? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Sure. It's a good topic. Company job. What are some of your responsibilities at IREX? Is this a good topic? Yes. Sure. Politics. Is this a good topic? Yes. This politician are a disaster. What do you no. think? No. <laughs> no. Not yet. No, please. Okay. Ya me imagino entrando en conflicto por politics. Y digan que ahora hay más democracia y más libertad de hablar de esos temas, pero antes. Era peor. Horrible, peligroso, dangerous. Okay, common events. Are you going to the sem? Are you enjoying the seminar? Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Travel. Does your job require a lot of travel? Mm. Yes. Que no es tan personal. Uh -huh. Money. Are you making good money in your job? No. 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 Definitely no. There's no asking. Oh, ¿Cuánto ganas? What's your salary? No. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> Please. Bosses. I work for a tyrant. What about you? <laughs> Ese es como decirle, yo trabajo con un caparaz. Mandó. No. Peligroso. Usted no sabe si es esa persona conoce a la otra persona. Likes, do you enjoy outdoor activities? Yes. It's okay. All right. Let me see. Give me one second, please. Click, click, click. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to share from the manual, but later I'm going to share from the presentation. Please fiance, think about three other good topics for a small talk. ¿Qué quieren lo pueden poner en el chat? ¿Qué otros temas serían aceptables para a small talk? The weather. What is happening at the conference? What is happening at the event? Mm -hmm. Then it says, take turns to practice this model conversation with a partner. Excuse me, where's the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks, by the way. Are you attending to? Yes, I am. But this is just a matter of practice. Let me show you what I just got. Okay. Yeah, tenemos algunas suggestions. The weather, meal, clothes. Mm -hmm.
Okay, no es otro. A sport. Yeah, could be. Music. Okay. Health. Could be. Mm -hmm. Food. Okay. Initiate a small talk using a variety of topics. Bye. Se lo voy a compartir desde el manual porque se ve mejor. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah. Tenemos este article. Read the article about Mrs. State's networking experience. Discuss if the questions below are true or false. Then correct the false sentences. Yo me tengo que leer un poquito. Last week, me voy a, a buscar un, me tengo que ir marcando. Uh -huh. Last week, I had lunch with Alison. Wait a second. Can se remade el verbo? I had lunch with Alison. El verbo nada más. Va, tengo la sin. A new member of my network contacts. We... We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal, I set a goal last year. I will have one-on-one -on -one networking meetings with a list, finding contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Alice. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said, she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted me. She trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I pass from a small talk to a smart talk. Here, sorry, here is my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least Three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. Voy a tener que borrar los círculos porque si muevo el PDF, igual se van a mover. Pero la idea era de ir identificando los verbos en pasado, ¿ok? Voy a ver si puedo hacerlo. Acaba de se mueve. Give me a second. Ok. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and build meaningful connections with people in the industry. 
When networking with people at meetings, conferences, association meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living? For a more creative question to enrich the human exchange. Like, what inspires you in your job? What are your daily challenges? Bye. Recomendación in English. Entre más practique, mejor. No importa si a la primera no lo va a leer perfecto, no va a ir. Yo fui muy lento para que notaran como las, digamos, la, las pronunciaciones más claras de aquellas palabras que para ustedes es primera vez que las miran o, o primera vez que, que tienen como esta palabra en contexto. Ok, traten de leer así en voz alta. Si los compañeros que están escuchando detectan que hay alguna palabra que la pronunciación puede ser mejorada, pues que lo digan al terminar de leer el párrafo la persona asignada. Read. Read and pay attention when your partners are reading. Luego que hayan leído, pues ustedes se lo dividen hasta donde quiere leer cada uno. Obviamente el artículo es todo de la de esta señora, de Miss Step. Y luego que hayan terminado, pues si van a resolver el ejercicio, que es the true or false. Claro, ¿tienen alguna duda? ¿Any question? Mm -hmm. No questions. Yo creo que como que lo vamos a leer todo y cuando lo leamos, o sea, si pronunciamos algo mal, como que entre todos nos ayudemos. Pero solo uno que lo lea todo, porque si no, no, no va a acabar el tiempo. Ok. Y después le escogemos una parte. Va, pero si quiere, antes que lo leamos, le leamos lo, eh, o sea, tomémonos que sea unos minutos solo para, para verlo. Una lectura rápida. Una lectura rápida, y luego ya ahí nos distribuimos que no va a leer una sola, y de ahí las partes.
something natural in the past. She said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I feel surprised because she trusted, trusted me, me that feeling. I got to know more about her. The industry she works, she works in, uh, and about her experience for the future. I came more than a new contact. I pass for a small talk to a small talk. Here it might advise to you when you attend a business event. Do not just go out and discuss business problem and solution. Try to get to know at last three new people by sharing a one-on-one -one network, networking coffee, a lunch or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your network networkings skill and you build many meaningful con connection with people in the industry ah, hoy quien empieza si, si, si quieren nos corremos solo un, un párrafo comienzo yo y así va okay. yes. the last week I have lunch with Allison a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past years, but we really did not really did not know each other very well. I said a goal last year. I could uh I could have a one on one networking meeting with at last three new contacts this year. My third contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewiry that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Allison meeting that she was she for not in the past, she said she worried a lot before going to our new working event. I feel super sick because she trusted me that failing. I got to know more about her, the industry she worked in and about her patients. For the future, I gained more time. A new contact, I passed from smart talk to smart talk. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business, heaven do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know a last three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking cafe, lunch or dinner. There no sé lo de... sí. Voy con el tercero. Suéltalo. Here is my advice to you. When you at business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one one a one on one networking coffee, lunch or dinner. There are several benefits benefits of this practice. Expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the Okay. Oye, Alijo, gracias, ¿verdad? Sí. 
Ok. Este, yo salí en cuál fue el que leí usted. El... el primero voy a leer. Ok. Y yo sí leo el segundo. <ríe> Vaya. Last week, last week I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contact contacts with each year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. During lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried, she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted trust me that feeling. I got to know more about her. The industry she works in, in and about her expectations, expectations for, the, for the future. I gained more that than a new contact. I based from small talk to small talk. Ok. Bueno, yo creo que ya nos repasamos todo. Sí, no sé, creo que cuando yo leí los, los tres párrafos, no sé quién, quién falta si leyeron. A mí me falta el tercero, creo. Ah, vaya, entonces. Ok. Dice, here is my adult advice to you when you attend business events do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee lunch or dine at three seminars over the past year but we really did not not age For the very well, I said I go last year. I will have a one on one networking meeting. Business problem and solution. Try to get to know a uh, less three new people. Be sure a uh, one one networking coffee lunch or dinner. There are certain minutes of the practice. You expand your contact, improve your networking skill, and you boost. I made school connection with people in the industry. Ok, vaya, ahora eh, de nuevo, ¿verdad? Este, estamos Imelda. ¿Quién más? El Nelson, para que... Nelson, ah, se retiró, ¿verdad? <risa> Vaya, si quiere empiezo yo y me... Una de corrido, una persona. Oh, uh -huh. Paula puede ser, que le dé todo de un solo. Natalia, oh. Natalia, Nati. <ríe> ah, perdón, Natalia. Vaya. Last week, I have alone with Alison, a new member of my network contact. 
with sub is other entry seminar over the past year, but we really did not know it other very well. I said at a goal last year, I will have a want on want networking meeting with a lead five news contact this year. My fifth contact meeting was adding them. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share in the experience. During love, Allison, mentioning that the what she buy naturally. In the past, she say she worrying I lot before going. Delay the working even. I feel so frightened because she train me that feeling. I want to know more about here. The industry you worry him and about her inspection for the future. I gain more than a new contact. I pass from a small a small talk. Bye, Melda. Le dejo el último. Here is my advice to you when you attend a business event. Do know you got in this huge business profession. See to God get the to know us less three next people, but sorry and one on the one network. Long or dinner, there are several benefits of the practice. Your spam, your contact, I, your networking, skilling, and you will man, man connect with people in the industry. Sí. Se fue Ricardo, ¿verdad? Sí. <ríe> Salió corriendo. <ríe> vale, entonces, eh, ¿qué opinan eh, Wendy? Okay, everybody, practice. Last week I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my new contacts, of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I will have one on one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Alison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy by nature in the past, she said. She worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the, the industry she was in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from a small top to a smart top. Here is my advice to you when you attend business events. Do not just go on, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new contacts by sharing a one on one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice you expand 
your contacts, improve your networking skill, and you build meaningful connection with people in the industry. When networking with people at meetings, conferences, associations, meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living? For a more creative question to enrich human exchange, like what inspires you in your job? What are your daily challenges? True or false? True, true, true or false? Alison and Mrs. Ted saw each other for the first time last week. True or false? Mm -hmm. True. True? Yes. They saw each other for the first time? Uh -huh. So this isn't true? So what else? Last week I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my new network contact. We saw each other at three seminars. Ya se habían visto en tres seminarios. So Alison and Mrs. Ted saw each other for the first time last week. It's also false. False. It is false. Actually. It's okay. Mrs. Ted said a networking goal for this year. ¿Cuál era el objetivo que ella se puso para este año? El mismo del año pasado. Ok, mira, sí. Here's this. I set a goal last year. Uh -huh. I will have one on one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. Entonces, ¿ya sí si se puso un objetivo para este año? To set a goal? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. True. Alison confessed that she hated networking events. Mm -hmm. That's true as well. She didn't lie. She was shy. Mrs. Ted and Allison passed from a small talk to a smart talk during the lunch. Mm -hmm. Yes. True. And Mrs. Ted mentioned three benefits of one-on-one -on -one networking meetings. You expand your contacts, you improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connection with people in the industry. Oh. That's true, exactly. Bye. Vamos a borrar esto, because si no, 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 que movamos la página. Okay. Let me see. It's cold at night already. Wait, wait, wait. Mm 
Ok, so, nada más para que mantengan en perspectiva la estructura de los past tense, las verbos en pasado, las oraciones afirmativas y negativas en pasado. Obviamente tenemos que especificar ¿verdad? con expresiones de tiempo. Today is present, tomorrow is future. So, las expresiones de pasado generalmente son yesterday, last week, last weekend, last month, last year, two years ago. Y ya sabemos que vamos entonces a usar verbos en pasado. Hay dos tipos de verbos, los regular verbs y los irregular. A los regular verbs solo le agregamos ed, teniendo en cuenta la pronunciación puede variar como id or the. Y los irregulares que hay que definitivamente aprenderse en la forma de pasado. El pasado de go, went. El pasado de swim, swam. El pasado de buy, bought. Ok. So, to practice irregular verbs. Uh, pueden hacer posts, pueden hacer memorias, pueden buscar online games, pueden hacer muchísimas cosas. El punto es que lo recuerden. To remember what is the past of C. So, what is the past of E? A. Entonces, cuando queremos describir estas acciones en pasado y necesitamos un verbo irregular, entonces necesitamos saber cómo se dice eso en pasado. Porque no podemos solo ponerle ed si el verbo es irregular. Por ejemplo, si es go, no puedo decir go ed. Tengo que decir went. So, tomorrow we're going to keep practicing the verse. The main Mainly the irregular verbs, porque los irregular verbs son los que dan un poquito más de trabajo. Ok, bye. Vamos a pasar la tendencia. Now. Attendance, everybody ready? Ready. Yes, ready. Uh... Ready. <laughs> bye, bye. Porque si no, después me regañan que voy muy rápido. Gracias. <laughs> Ana Cristina Brian David Miguel Present teacher Ready Ok <laughs> Débora Beatriz Present Ok, Doris, Elizabeth. Elvin, Gabriel. Present, Miss. Gracias. Good night. Good night. Present, Miss. Nice. Héctor. Imelda. Present, teacher. Good night. Night. Iván. Present Miss. Night. Night. Joana. Jocelyn. Present. Karen. Okay. Kevin. Laura, María Irma, present teacher, good night, good night, Miguel Ángel, present teacher, good night, night, Nelson, present and good night, all right, good night, Paula, present teacher, all right, good night, Ricardo, Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wendy. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wilmer. Present teacher, good night. Good night. All right. So, si pueden encontrar un listado de verbos, sobre todo irregulares, es muy válido también. Tener listados, crear oraciones con sobre todo con aquellos verbos más necesarios, digamos, aquellos más útiles 
¿Qué es que te dicen? Yo definitivamente voy a necesitar esto. Comer, dormir, ir, trabajar. So, use those verbs to make sentences. Y también creo que en la plataforma, pues, hay muchos ejercicios también para practicar eso de los verbs in past, ¿ok? So, make your time. Maybe. Tendrá que ser, pues, en algún momento que les quede en el día la jornada. Because <laughs> only in class we can practice, but it's, it's really important to practice more, okay, outside the class. All right? So have a good night. Enjoy. I see you tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye.